Hello. You got this. Michaela, can you tell us about some of the programs you and the others have contributed? Uh, sure. Right this way. Uh, so this is Ember Evergreen and Bryden Bandwidth, and they've created, created Maywood Glen's very own vertical forest <laughs> by planting hundreds of plants and vegetation all over Stone Acres. We calculate that the plants will consume carbon dioxide and deliver between 75 and 100 kilograms of oxygen per day. And with my sick computerized controlled drip irrigation system, I mean sick like amazing, not sick like bleh, <laughs> we'll be able to minimize water use by 75 to 80 percent. We like to say drip is the new cool. We don't say that. We could. We won't. OK. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh... Amazing, right? OK, <laughs> now you have to try this. Good job, girls. <laughs> um, and this is Adrian Adams and Cameron Coyle. And they created Cycle Sickle. Using pedal power, the ice and salt churn at a higher rate. Creating a culinary explosion of flavored helado, ice cream. Using zero energy from the grid. Try my culinary white chocolate with ancho chili pepper. Like me, fabulous with a bit of a kick. Wow, so inventive. Don't look at me. The students of Maywood Glen deserve all the credit. Michaela in particular, she is a wonderful role model for all young women, including my daughter. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Mr. Stone, right in bandwidth. I remember. Drip is the new cool. And you would catch on. Hashtag trendsetter. I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan of Stone Television Network. I watch it all the time. And it actually inspired me to make my own web series. It's called Bryant's. You know, right in science. Bryant's. Get it? I do. I'll have to check it out sometime. Really? Send me the link. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he's going to watch the show. Oh, Michaela. Do you think he's going to like it? I, I just want to thank you again for spearheading the new engineers program, especially considering my history with your father. I was glad to help, and it's OK. My father hasn't been a part of my life for a long time. Well. As a way of saying thank you, my wife and I would like to invite all the volunteers from Maywood Glen Academy to our home for dinner one night. That'd be great. I'm sure Brian will be there. <laughs> Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the new youth government task force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set. Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes. This is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making its owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Uh, of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not in the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? 
We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa, uh oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. We need intel on the port security vulnerabilities. You two look inside the warehouse and I'll do recon around the perimeter. Recon? Intel? Perimeter? There's so much mysterious lingo, it's practically another language. <laughs> hey, get a move on, sailor. He's not a sailor. I'm improvising on the knot thing. I like it. Those bananas need to be exposed to ethylene, caballeros. Maybe you can get them to the ripening room? Sometime today? Did you know the banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant? Often, often mistaken for trees? trees. Oh, look at us! Fonding oh, over banana! Father was a marine compass? No, I didn't. But right now I need to send these pictures to Bri. Consider it done. Exposed from the dock. I'll text Michaela that we'll download them and begin cross-checking the photos with those in the Innovate database. Adri, anything to report? Interior of the warehouse secure. No hidden doors or passages. We have engaged the virtual reality glass and now have a three-dimensional image of the docks. There are some security weaknesses. We'll need two guards stationed by the main warehouse entrance and two in the back. And a guard dog! Not that kind of guard dog. How about a Pekingese? It's ferociously a nerve! Let's just stick to the human guards. So we still don't know how all the other guards got taken out? This morning, I analyzed the evidence samples the Falcon sent us. I tested hair strands from the knocked out guards. Even double checked for chloroform or evidence of something the guards may have ingested. Nada. Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not. I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camsterdam. Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> Well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there. This is my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. <sighs> let's do this. Go, girl! Yeah! 